Wednesday night, so you know what that means. It is time for WWE's The Main Event. And the show actually started off with them talking about that referee who screwed Ryback at Hell in a Cell. He, they said that he tried to become a wrestler, but failed. And that's how he started refereeing. And he got the refereeing job because when they went to three hours, they they needed more referees. So, I don't know. I think this is just going to lead to, if not him being a wrestler, at least Ryback getting a match with this kid and beating the shit out of him. First match, Randy Orton, Sin Cara, and Rey Mysterio in a six-man tag team match versus Alberto Del Rio and the primetime players Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. I like this match a lot. This was a really good match. Not only because of it being six people in one match, but of how much time they gave the match. It was it was just a good six-man tag. You saw everyone in there, and it helped showcase, again, the tag team division. Like, I know I sound like a broken record, but I can't get enough of these tag teams in the division now. It's great. And you, you couldn't wipe the smile off my face enough after seeing Randy Orton RKO Abel Del Rio and pin him. I'm like, whoa, Abel Del Rio just lost the match on TV? It's impossible. And then backstage, Josh Matthews is trying to interview the primetime players about the loss, but Abel just cuts him off, takes the mic and says that Randy needs to watch his back come Friday night on SmackDown, so that can only mean one thing. They're going to continue the feud. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Next match, last match I should say, Way Barrett versus Tyson Kidd. Now, I initially thought, great, alright, so we're just gonna have Way Barrett beat the shit out of Tyson Kidd. After him having these great matches with Sheamus and Randy Orton, he's going back to just beating the mid cards. Like, it's funny, he looks more impressive losing to the main event guys than he does demolishing these mid carders. You can actually see what he can do for a solid 20 minutes. But I will admit, though, there were some spots in this match where Tyson Kidd got some licks in. Way Barrett got the win with that elbow move that he does. I just think that Barrett sh should go back to that wasteland move or should come up with a new finisher. I, I don't think that finisher where he just, like, whips someone across and then just elbows them in the face, it, it, it's weak. You already have Big Show doing the knockout punch. You don't need someone else doing such a similar looking move. And Barrett's bragging about how he's the shit, basically. Sheamus comes out to challenge Wade Barrett to a match next week on main event. And not only that, but they're going to be in England next week, which is pretty cool. I do like when they go to different places like that. And before I go, I want to mention really quick, I read online something pretty hilarious. Kurt Angle... We all know and love Kurt Angle, right? Our Olympic hero. Of course, he's in TNA now. So him being in TNA, he loves the chance whenever he can to bash WWE. Even though if you ask him would he ever come back to WWE, he always says never say never. So you could tell he would, would do it, probably for the money. But he's quick to bash WWE. He accuses WWE of stealing one of their storylines. The current John Cena AJ scandal that's going on right now, he's saying they stole that where TNA had AJ Styles and Dixie Carter. And pretty much the same storyline. And I will admit that, yeah, it is it is very similar of a storyline. But at the same time, first of all, Kurt, you cannot be trying to say that TNA invented a storyline of a wrestler having an affair or an alleged affair, a scandal with the boss. You know how many times that's been done? You know how many times that's been done by WWE, by WCW? You know how many ideas or plots or storylines that TNA steals from WWE or even WCW? As if we're not supposed to remember? 
Hell, their biggest, TNA's biggest storyline going on right now is the Aces and Eights group attacking people. A biker gang. Sons of Anarchy just started again. You're stealing shit from a fucking TV show, Sons of Anarchy. So come on, Kurt. Like, seriously, TNA is not the most original wrestling company around. As much as I like Kurt, I just, it annoys me sometimes when he opens his mouth and says stupid shit. Like, seriously. And even if, let's go ahead and say that WWE is stealing the storyline from TNA. Let's pretend like a writer from WWE saw that AJ Styles, Dixie Carter, shitty storyline, by the way, it was hard. I bet you a million bucks that WWE can do that storyline ten times better. Like, seriously, at least this storyline, John Cena and AJ, I feel like we'll have a good payoff or we'll go somewhere. Unlike that AJ and Dixie Cut, it was just stupid. You had that girl come in with the drug problems, drug past, and she was pregnant and accused AJ of it being his baby, and then they took a, like, a lie detector test, and then you had pictures, and then you find out that she wasn't even really pregnant. And it was just like, what? Who was writing this shit? Well, anyways, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I started ranting on TNA. Didn't mean to do that. But anyways, guys, I'd like to know what you thought of the main event. And it's Halloween, so instead of leaving you with a door to be video like I usually do with my videos, I think I will leave you with a picture of who I was for Halloween. Can you guess?